What's going on, y'all? Well, you know, um, I'm a youth pastor, and so in ministry, sometimes it has its perks. Sometimes people give you things that you don't want or didn't ask for, and sometimes people give you things that you do want and did ask for, or vice versa, whatever it may be. Uh, well, a church member gave me a gift this week of something that I thought it was something, but it turned out to be completely, entirely something else. And so, um, you know, a lot of people in their yards, they may have like a big Jenga set or a cornhole set. But I want to show you something that's even better. Something from the 1990s. Check it out. So a member of the of New Liberty Baptist Church, he asked me if I wanted like a basketball goal, like something that I could fill with water, set it up, and the kids could come over and play basketball, myself included, right? And so I was like, totally, yeah, bring it by. Well, he brings it by, thank you, Bill Blunt, right? He brings by this. This is not just any ordinary basketball goal. This is something that like you see in like a... Uh, Oh goodness, Dave and Buster's maybe, maybe in the 90s, something like this. So, this is awesome. This is going in my backyard. We'll come over and hang out. So, I'm not wasting any time. I'm going to play it on my own. My sister just showed up. What's up, sis? It, I have no makeup on, don't look at me. Did you just get, you're sick, aren't you? Yes. Did you bring this? Yes. For life groups? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so do you know, do you know Bill Blunt? Yes. He gave this to me. I thought it was a basketball goal. And it's like this arcade thing. <laughs> okay, I have a really cool idea, Lee. On top of the church van. Are you snapping this? Is that what it's called? Yes. Okay. Dude, perfect. Top of the church van. Oh, that. Oh. One more. This is really hard. It's harder than I thought. Ah, give it back to me. Now you're probably asking yourself or me, Kyle, why in the world are you filming this of y'all just having a fun, fun time? No reason. I just wanted to. Oh yeah. Okay, time to get into the serious part of the vlog. Lee brought over, what did you bring over? No. Milk for a life group tonight, right? And that is really why I'm filming this vlog. That's the important part of the vlog. Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. All right, so Ashley and I are in our kitchen and we're getting ready for life group. And our job tonight for life group is to cook the bacon. That's right, the bacon. So Life Groups uh, started at New Liberty a couple of years ago. Oh my goodness, grease is all over the camera. You all right? Yep. Life Groups started at New Liberty a couple of years ago and it's basically where people get together in a home and they just talk about the message that was preached on that Sunday of the week. And so at New Liberty we have Life Groups that meet every day of the week pretty much for about an hour to two hours. People to get together they read the message, um, the notes from the message that was preached, and they just talk about uh, life and things that are going on. And uh, I love our life group very much. And so I'm really, ex Ashley and I are really excited to take you guys on our journey with our life group tonight. So we use the GroupMe app. 
and our whole life group is on here and this is how we kind of like share like who's bringing what each week got to the Coles. They live like a mile from our house. So pretty easy commute. Pretty soon this street will be uh, lined up with cars. Hey Chris. Hey this is the girl that made the logo for the vlog. Thanks Kristen. You're welcome. Now I'm a Waffle House worker. And there's my buddy Graham. Order's that. Hey there. Live group of the traveling plates is started whenever we bought a big thing of plates. And each live group, the leader, the, for the next week takes it. And then we use it more. So it's like, uh, like if you've ever seen the movie Live group of the traveling pants. No. Live group of the traveling pants. What do you like about live groups? I like the community of it and the camaraderie and this. Just getting to hang out and eat and fellowship. I like the exact same things. No, uh, really, it's uh, <laughs> You're such a man, <laughs> whatever he said. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a good way for me to be able to share struggles with people that, uh, that I go to church with. And maybe they can help me with issues that I'm having. I can help them with issues that they, they're having. Uh, just because a lot of us through life will go through a lot of the same things. So. The thing that's good to me is just, you know, on Wednesday nights growing up, there used to be like a time of youth group, and I just, I just love coming together with that group when I was younger, and just having that time to during the middle of the week to grow and dig into the Word, and know it was almost there, and I feel like that's the same for life groups with the adults, and I think that, you know, coming from different walks of life with jobs and and responsibilities, I think just coming and having a common goal of just wanting to dig deeper with your relationship with Christ. It's neat to see like the different people that host life groups, like different parts of them come out as they host and as they teach. You get to know people different ways when you see people interact like with a group of friends. Mm -hmm. You know, like 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 I don't get certain parts of Sean's personality if other people aren't there. But I do, you know, when the entire group's together. So the same way like everybody else. Hey, have a gift. Yeah. Oh, 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 you guys are so sweet. Happy baby. Yes. Wait, did you know? Yeah. 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 Finishing life group with some dip cones before I leave to go to Atlanta tomorrow. I love you. Love you too. Get involved in biblical community. It'll change your life. Cheers.